Hi everybody, as you can see I am holding foil copper and we have been using this because it is a cheaper, more affordable way to make bus bars for our new 36 volt system that we have been installing or trying to. And thank you for the donations. You make this happen and this happen. I've been baking bread all day and this is like the best apron ever. We can, um, it's really easy. All you got to do is use a pair of scissors and my job is to cut strips and dad's job is to do all the rest of the weird complicated stuff. It's not really complicated. Though. I, even I can do that. Yep, that's right, guys. And here in a few minutes, we're going to show you how we're going to use this copper on here. Kara's been making all these strips right now. So thank you guys. This is what your coffees have gotten for her. And we're going to run a little clip that uh, so you can donate. That's her creation. Thank and you. what do you got to say? We will be back with the rest of the video. All right. Stay tuned. All right, as you saw there in the beginning, we are working with foil copper. Now, Kira is in here bending them now, and these are going to be the uh, the ones that will be used for the in-series, and these will be used for the parallel. I'm going to show you right quick what we have here, and I'll show you this big roll. Now, I'm using a washer to drill the holes, so this right here is nine layers and I'm going to show you how we're doing this that's nine layers and how we come up with the math now the math is based on weight so I'll tell, tell you what we worked with this is the missing link we're looking for so this is six gauge four gauge two gauge now the problem we have is running this like this is very expensive if you're going to go terminal 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 um, like that or lugs and just a lot of little short pieces of copper and you end up with the likelihood of resistance or not great connections now i could go this route which is about 35 bucks so that'd be 35 bucks 70 dollars to do the two sides um or actually to do all four of those rows to connect them all together another thing is like in a previous video you will see where i used half inch copper and then I added this metal, that metal that's in that roll, uh, three layers thick of that. So it'd be six when doubled. And I ended up with over 500 amps capability. Now, I've got the same setup we're going to be using for another row of those batteries, Power Queens. So y'all want to know what we use. But look below the video and I'm going to show you links. And there's going to be something right here that most people are like, whoa, how'd you, you know, where'd you figure these out? There's only one guy or one store that I've found where I can get four. So it's a, a four sets or two sets, eight total for 20 bucks. Everywhere else is $17 for just four of these. And then they're really tall. And these are lower and they, they've got an embedded stud that's in them. And we're using that for our bus bars. But back to this. Now, these two pieces here are going to be used on the, the main negative and the main positive. These are for the power queen batteries, but the main negative and the main positive on that 36 volt battery setup. And then what we're going to have is these that go between on the next set of the next set of terminals, the negatives in one case. And then from there over will be like an F or I guess an E, I guess you'd say an E. Now that right there is one that we've made. Now the way that we're making it, and I'll have her hold the phone here and I'll show you, or actually, actually she can show you is that she is joining these together where they are like a W. One. Hold on. Yep, there we go. She puts them together. And then the next one will be like these are. One after another. Back and forth, back and forth. 
So it's just a zigzag of them layered, layered, layered like a, uh, like a continuous W. And when these are added up, eight strips. So it's 16 thicknesses, eight of these total, and the same way with these over here. Now, yep, so I put two of these together like that, and then we go like. So what we're doing is technically yeah. we're making a thickened bus bar. And if and if you're one of these guys that's going like, oh, you can't do that. You got to buy this here Blue Sea product or whatever. I, you know, I don't want to hear that. It's copper. It, it's, it's just copper. And where your compression point for your bolts, where that's going to be, it's going to compress all that together. It doesn't matter if it's flying around loose. It don't matter. As long as each one of these are the same as far as their compression points, um, you end up with the same thing. You end up with the same thing as a thick volume of bus bar. There we go. So and, head. As, she is, as she is continually making these, there's two pre-made ones and they'll be drilled out. And the way I drill them out is, is uh, back over here right quick, is with the washer. I just clamp it and then just shoot straight through and it makes a nice clean. Otherwise, you'll get pretty pretty gnarly looking on thin copper like that um of course we'll use washers and we'll be using a number six an m6 bolt with a washer on it uh that's also copper and compress them down uh, of course we'll check check these from time to time make sure they're good but the way we came up with how much do we use how much of this do we use now below the video i put a link to a roll copper that's the equivalent of this stuff this is not a tiny roll now you're going to see the price of 30 bucks for the, or 40 bucks, whatever, for the roll I'd send you to of two inch wide so that you can make one inch. That's one inch wide. See, um, so that you can make one inch wide bus bars. But this roll is industrial and this is where it's going to blow your mind. This roll is actually used for the same thing. It's used for the same thing. The way that they use these rolls, however, is how they make braid. So when you see a braided ground strap that's then later tin coated, it actually comes from these rolls from a commercial machine. This here is 14, 14 and a half pounds that's left. It started its life as a 30 pound roll. It was big. Big. So um, you're not going to have to buy that. This thing here is going to last me my lifetime and probably hers of uh, making things like this. So we come up with the math. And it's, it's plus or minus. This thing here is not 100% accurate, and I have another scale. It's the same. But in, in, um, in grams or ounces, we're looking at what the grade of copper. So this is number two copper, number three copper, number four copper, number six copper, and that is to a foot. So to the same length that you have here. So actually, I, I, let me say that correctly. To 13 inches. So this is 13. I cut these pieces exactly 13. I pulled back some of this and then with the insulation on it, you'll see the slight difference. Okay. So slight difference in it, but without the insulation, I just, we didn't want to leave it because it was all coming apart on here. Um, then you've got each one of these, what they weigh. Okay. And what you end up with is you end up with a value. So you know that number four gauge is capable of 125 amps. It actually is considered burnable at 140 or within the safety boundaries of 140. That's when it starts to produce too much heat. Three gauge, and anybody says, well, they don't make no damn three gauge. Well, don't go there because they do. I've got five gauge. I've got four. I've got seven. I've got um, if you got one gauge, two gauge, three gauge, they all come, you can get whatever you want. Now, two gauge is 205 amp hour. That is your continuous service. 230 is your safety. Four gauge, uh, six gauge is 75 with a continuous service. 80 is your, within your safety margin. So our goal was to, to go beyond. Since we're working with 150 amp hour, 50 amp capability per battery but 150 amps of flow we wanted to exceed that so we're shooting for three gauge and to shoot for three gauge we've got to exceed 2.7 ounces so we're working with i hope i grab the right one here eight strands of this equals 2.8 ounces you see that 
And that's our goal is to make sure that we, we exceed 150 amp capacity um, and, and by a healthy margin. So we're, we're pulling nearly 200 amps capability with this copper. Now we're going to show you these hooked up and, and how easy it is to do this with this strip copper. Because what if you only needed five gauge and you were putting a lot of things together, terminals together? Well, one way to do it is make it out of this stuff here. If I took four gauge and I put a terminal here, went that far and put another terminal lug, a lug, and then I put a lug on top of a lug and then a lug and then a lug on top of a lug. And that, I mean, this, this is getting stupid at that point. But then if I went and spent $70 for one single bus bar or two single ones, two, it'd been 140 bucks to do this in that copper over there. Well, this is costing us about 10 bucks. I mean, it's a good idea, right? Now, back over here, this is the main bus bar. You're going to see over there, you have one side is 36 volt and the other side is 12 volt. A lot of stuff is going into this build. So subscribe, look under the videos for links and stuff that I'm going to be adding on here. But this right here set up, you see that? Now, these are the bolts that are going to come through. You got your quarter inch, your five sixteenths, and your three eighths. And this is half inch thick copper. It is a full two and a half inches wide and it is capable of well in excess of 1600 amps so we want to make sure that we have where the solar power would be coming in where the the uh, lighting and other circuits would come off of and where the two main inverter outlets would come in so you connect battery battery and battery and it's solar here solar here and then an inverter or two right there and that has only cost me about $35 a piece to build those. So, I mean, maybe 40 at the tops with the screws involved in it. Let's take a look right quick with it hooked up. And then you'll see what I'm talking about of a way to save you money, still do it safe, how to build your own. Because when you start buying these things, it just starts adding fast. Okay. And stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of stuff on that build in that room. All right. Let's get over there and take a look at what we're going to get done with these pieces. All right, now back in here, I've got the first set of bars on on what me, Kira has. So Kira has installed the first set of these and right now she's working on the second set. So I'll give you a little close up there what it kind of looks like. And it's really simple. I mean, this is able to transfer. So we're going to have this copper bar. I'll be flattening these copper bars out and it'll connect these three be drilled out and flattened out and this is type l copper so this ain't no thin stuff it's very thick and totally capable of over 250 amps which we will never see from this at 36 volt now for 12 volt you'd probably want to beef it up a little bit but it does or use three quarter that's most common use three quarter soft copper now um, for doing this on the ends i'm going to be able to slide two gauge copper down in it and crimp it three times and that way if you'll see up here it'll be able to loop up go up into the chase that's back here for the copper and come out here to where we're going to have the three switches so we'll have a switch for each one of these each one of these batteries now um while she's putting that all together it's it's just really simple and of, of course over here we'll have the uh the negative the grouped negative all right now over here i want to show you guys something i have got two volt go 400 amp hour batteries with 250 amp bms's in them and two of the greener power it has a 200 amp bms in it so there's some of them that are like really 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 seriously brand um i don't know reactive they they if you don't have the right brand they won't you know, with the greener power can seem to be just connected to any brand. So it, it doesn't care. It ain't got some kind of smart talk back garbage in it. It just works. And so these are 200 amp hour, 200 amp hour, 400 and 400. So you have 1200 amp hours, a significant amount. And then of course, you've got the power coming from the main battery bank that connects to this. Now this, you want this much sitting over here, all this, for the surge because 
one, it's going to be the power that charges each one of these Vitomans. And we're going to be doing a video on this one here pretty soon. Um, I've been running this one a lot. I've got hours and hours and hours of service through it. And I wanted to find out because I've had a couple of these just, they start losing their charge. And, and this one here, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to do it. Uh, I don't want to tell somebody something's dynamite unless it is. So I told people this was good, and I told people this was good. And so far, it's 100%. But there's a couple of other ones they got of different sizes that I was questionable about. So when I got this one here, and I have, in about four months now, this thing has been running fryers and all kinds of other stuff, deep fryers, and it's doing a hell of a job. So we're going to do a review on that here pretty quick, but I'll put a link to it, the all the, the length of these. That's This has been a really good brand. And look, look up here, or at the end of the video, I'll put a link um, to where the videos I've done on these. They're built. I mean, these have got a real serious chassis inside of them. They're no junk. All right, back to this over here. You'll see in a lot of my videos, I do the sweet power inverters. And this is a 2023 model. This is a 2022 model. They're both pretty much the same. This one uses just about a watt and a half or two watts less power. That's about it. And we're going to have a buck boost that takes 12 volt from the main battery bank the huge lead acid and sends it back here to these. And in addition, we'll have a few of these little trial items. We're going to hook up for about 10 amps each time coming off the solar above, because this has got its own solar also. And then it has a 60 amp, 36 volt solar also. Then of course, over here, we have an LI time that's going to be hooked up and it's going to be sending its full power from a thousand watts of solar, basically on the roof to these guys, but they'll also get their power from the main battery bank with a, uh, 50 amp DC to DC charger. So it's going to be doing basically 50 amps, 100 amps coming in this thing. And it has to be because of that. 240 volt, 12 volt in. Um, I think it's 4,000 watt or uh, yeah, 4,000 watt. So we're going to have that. And this is our setup right out here. And you guys, I want y'all to show you my little cutie right here. This <laughs> is Nina. That's Ida Mae's baby. She's Nina Gale. Huh? Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's special. So we got Nina and we got, we had to name that one of them, Clayton, one of our viewers. He got, he got Ruby. And then I said, well, I love that name. So I give another one of the pups named Ruby, but different Ruby Lynn. So yep. we, we, uh, we have a few of these McNabb Border Collies. And, and we love them. And we love them. They are special. They're absolutely un unbelievable. So um, for you guys who watch the channel a lot, this is Kira's artwork. This is Kira's ac acrylic, right? Yeah. Acrylic. I don't know a lot about art. She does. And she just done this one yesterday. So she made them because of these steel beams in here. She wanted to cover them up. So we're going to cover them up with Kira art. Courtesy. Because they're ugly. Because the beams are ugly or the pictures, Kira? The beams. The beams. What? That's a sour look. What do you tell people? My pictures are pretty. Our pictures are pretty. All right, guys. This is our build. Y'all stay tuned. Probably a long video, but this is a simple way. It'll save you money. And I mean, I'm doing all of this for, I don't know, about 20 bucks. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right. Y'all be good.